So this morning I'm down to 202 pounds. That's from my beginning point of 206 pounds. In the past six months I've had a total of two sugary sodas and three sodas with stevia. That's five sodas in six months. That is completely unprecedented for me. I've managed to cut down my portions. I'm no longer going to bed and waking up feeling like I have to throw up because I eat too much. Um, it's really scary when that happens, when you wake up and, and you feel like you're choking to death. Um, <clears throat> it, it happens every once in a while, uh, not as much, usually when I've been drinking beer and my brain goes offline. We no longer order out at all, and we don't go to fast food at all. But there are times when we're out and about and we don't have a choice, we have to eat out. Um, so taking the time to check what's in the food and if there's a calorie count, paying attention to that really helps us a lot. I still eat pie. <laughs> I will I will happily go to Sherry's once a year to get some of their strawberry, um, some of their strawberry cream cheese pie because I really love um, I started out the whole change in my life simply by looking at labels. At that point, a couple years ago, I didn't even bother to change what I was eating. I kept eating what I was eating. I just looked at the labels. And what I found was that every single thing I picked up in the freezer, in a box, in a can, uh, in a jar, it had sugar. All of it. Every single thing. Uh, bread, diet food, yogurt, all the things that the specialists told me and the doctors told me was good for me, good for my kids, it all had sugar in it. And that was completely unacceptable to me. I don't have to look at the labels anymore. I'm a couple of years on, um, I know what I'm gonna see. So I stay away from the boxed food as much as possible. I stay out of the, the jars and the cans. Uh, there are some things that are too expensive for me to make. There are some things that I can't make. And I, I do go into the aisles to get that. But otherwise, I stick to, I stick to meat. I stick to vegetables. Um, I stick to dairy. I do eat cheese. I do eat, you know, I, I drink milk. I'm training my son to pick up the box, to pick up the bag, to pick up the jar, and look at the label and see what's in it. He, right now, needs a lot more calories than I do, but I still want him to know what's in his food, because later on he won't be able to eat as much as he eats now. We're working on cutting down our consumption of red meat. Or eating chicken, fish, even lamb when we can get it. We love lamb. We don't, when we don't make vegetables, we usually make vegetables for a meal. When we don't make vegetables, we always make sure that we have a bag of raw cut up vegetables in the fridge so we can take a serving of that with our dinner. Uh, we try to keep down the starchy foods, but when my son is here, we'll have rice or pasta. And we're not perfect by any means. Not at all. We still eat some things we should not, and sometimes we eat more than we should. Um, the whole organic thing is way in the back of my mind right now. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty expensive, and I am more concerned with getting the fresh vegetables on the plate than where they came from. Um, same with the meat. I am concerned with where it came from, but Right now, I'm concerned with how much it costs and getting it on the plate. We're lucky enough to have a neighbor who has chickens. And let me tell you, that is, that is fantastic because chickens that have been roaming around, eating bugs to their heart's delight, um, lay eggs that are far superior, it is true. They lay eggs that are far superior to the eggs that that are commercially laid. It, it's really great. But it's one of those things that we just lucked into. 
we've turned our consumption of food from shameful into purposeful eating. And I like that. I like not being ashamed of the food that I'm eating anymore. We eat when we're hungry and we eat what our body asks us to eat. We're trying to eat the food that our bodies need instead of the urges for sugary stuff that overcome us. We've reduced our food bill quite a bit and it's obviously doing my obesity some good. <laughs>